Yeah, it was, um, you know, one, one of those plays when you're in a tight game like we were today, you know, your possessions are limited. And, um, you know, I, as a group, we didn't make enough plays. I had the turnover early in the game uh, where that could have been a different ball game too. You come away with points. Uh, we didn't make the play on the third down that, that you referenced towards towards the end where we had a chance to kind of get back up. Um, and you got to make those plays. We've got to make those plays as a team. Uh, and, and I really believe we'll do that moving forward. But we didn't make them today. Credit to Carolina. I thought um, they played well. Their defense did a great job, played hard, and, and played better than us today. How's the hand? Yeah, the hand's fine. It was just a cut. Uh, and uh, Coach also made a point that uh, uh, their defense is a lot different with Shaq Thompson and uh, Gilmore out there today. Yeah, I, I know I've, I've played against Shaq for a long time, and uh, he's a really talented player. Um, you know, he's got great size and speed, great instinct, uh, made a nice play on the interception today. He's a good player, and uh, as well as Gilmore, you know, came in and, and did a nice job, and uh, it's a good defense. And so we'll see him again, but uh, we, we certainly need to play, you know, better football the next time we go against him. How does, how does this offense change without Calvin? Um, you know, it's, he, he's, he's a great player, and, uh, you know, you, you try and utilize other guys when, when he's not up. And so um, we still have enough, you know, players. We trust the guys that, you know, are, are up on game day to go make plays. Um, you know, and unfortunately, we just fell a little bit short of that today. Is there, are there things that, I mean, you, is it maybe with him downfield a little bit more? Where, is that where maybe it can hurt you guys? Well, you know, he's, like downfield, you know? yeah, I mean, he's, he's, like I said, he's a great player, and so as ability to stretch the defense, he's really quick getting in and out of cuts. He, he does a, a great job versus zone coverage, versus man coverage. Um, you know, but again, you gotta you gotta play with the guys we have up and available, and um, you know, ultimately as a group, we fell a little bit short today. As far as Russell Gage, I don't believe was targeted once. Are they doing something to take him away, or is that just? It's just how the game shakes out sometimes. You know, the calls come in, you try and do your best to, uh, you know, identify the defense and what you're going against. And um, to me, you know, guys have to stay patient. You know, at certain times, the ball's going to find different guys through the course of the year. And Russ has been a good player for us for a number of years, and so I anticipate that's going to be the case moving forward. Did you think the late notice on Calvin's absence had any effect today, more so than if you'd known Wednesday? Well, I, you know, I've been in the league a long time. You know, until you get to the stadium Sunday, there's a lot of things, you know, that can happen. And it's no different than an injury in any other spot. Um, sometimes, you know, they're game time decisions. you got to adjust as part of being a professional and going out there and, and being ready to go. So I don't think it, you know, affected the guys. But um, certainly wish Calvin all the best. You know, we love him and, and support him. And uh, he's a great friend and, and a great person. So um, we all we all support him as he's going through this. How did, how did you think Kyle played matching up against uh, Gilmore for a lot, a lot of the game? I thought there were some good and, you know, some we could do better, you know, for sure. But I thought he competed really hard. Uh, that's one of the best, you know, defensive players in the game, you know, has been a defensive player of the year. And so uh, it's a great learning opportunity for Kyle moving forward. And, um, you know, I think he'll be better off, you know, for going against guys like that. I think that's where you really learn how to become the best version of yourself. Did you see some things today um, that you kind of think about that you could have done better? No. I mean, you got to watch the tape. I think there's – when you're playing, you, you're just on to the next play. You know, you're not, not going back and, and judging anything on game day. It's about playing together and going out there and, and competing as a unit and as a team and finding a way to get the job done. We didn't do that. The interception through in the first half, that was wrong. your hand was bleeding pretty bad. But how, was that affecting you at all even though it's the offense? No, no. Uh, it, it, it didn't affect me. I just, you know, Shaq made a good play, and, um, you know, I've got to be better than that. Matt, statistically, I think this was the second fewest yards you've had in a full game in your career. Did it seem like things just weren't working out today? Was it kind of a nightmare experience, or how would you kind of describe what happened today? I've been through worse, you know. <laughs> um, 
uh, unfortunately. But uh, it's just, you know, it was a low possession game. They did a good job on the offensive side of the ball for Carolina running the football, kind of shrinking the clock. Uh, and we knew going into it, you know, if that was the case, then you have to be opportunistic. And you can't worry about what the stats are. You just got to find a way to get it done. Uh, I thought we had chances and, um, you know, just didn't, didn't make the plays, you know, when we needed to. But we certainly, you know, we're in that football game all the way through it. Talk about being opportunistic and then the, the third down percentage being 30%. I mean, what was kind of the disconnect there? Because I know we've talked before about, like, putting yourself in good position on first and second down, but it sometimes felt like y'all were doing that. So what was kind of the disconnect there? They, they played well. Um, I think, you know, that, that's part of, of this league. There are days, you know, I tell our young guys all the, all the time, you're a week away from being humbled uh, in this league because there's good players across the board. And some days uh, are, are like that. And you have to have the, the, the mental strength to, to come back tomorrow, get back to work, be honest with what we did well, what we didn't do well, uh, and make sure that we're better than what we were today moving forward. Because we're going to see good football teams and good defenses as, as we go through uh, the months of, of November, December, and January. Um, moving forward, what are your thoughts on Sharp? Yeah, I think Tajay's done a good job uh, all year, you know, at different times where he's been asked to go in and, and make plays. I thought he did that for us today, made a couple good plays. I have a lot of confidence in, in Tajay that he'll go in uh, and be a good player for us. Anything else? All right, thank you. Thank you.